that it's you'd been see. couched by a, a tax increase, a revenue gain, however you want to call it, mm-hmm. uh, which is the Republicans have been solidly opposed to at every step of the way. Do you think that that's the stumbling block that Republicans yes. need to give that up? It's that well, well, they're asking that Democrats give up a position that Democrats care deeply about, which is no con- no compromises, adjustments, reductions to spending, including entitlement spending. They're saying, Democrats, you have to compromise on that. And Democrats are saying, Republicans, you have to compromise on revenues. You've got to be willing to close tax loopholes on oil companies that we're subsidizing that we don't need to subsidize. You need to be willing to let the Bush tax cuts expire at the top end. Remember when the Bush tax cuts were put in place, they were made temporary for one reason and one reason only. If they were permanent, they were going to mess up the deficit. That was why Senator Allen and his colleagues made those tax cuts temporary. Well, here we are. It's exactly what's happened. They've messed up the deficit. We need to let them expire at the top end. But Republicans are basically saying to the president, we want you to give on all the entitlement things, but we're not going to give on revenues. The American public fully understands that the only way we'll solve this deficit issue is if we touch everything. We have to cut defense spending. We have to cut non-defense discretionary spending. We have to find cuts in savings and entitlement programs. We've got to have new revenues largely through closing these loopholes that we don't need to keep in place.